many people don't take the time to properly understand what it is, what it does, how it works, and how to properly use it. What an auto bed leveling probe actually does is touch your bed in many locations and create a map, a survey of your manual leveling job. And then when printing, the printer will follow that map, which we call a mesh to compensate for those minor inconsistencies where the bed may be a touch lower or a touch higher. So it will adjust for those minor differences to give you a successful print rather than a failed print by trying to print on something that's too high or too low. Your auto bed leveling probe will compensate for those minor differences to make up for them. The second thing your auto bed leveling probe does is unlock full Z offset control at the firmware level. This is very important. Your Z offset or your Z height is the distance between your nozzle and the bed. Now the difference between tenths of a millimeter can be the difference between a successful first layer and a poor first layer, a layer that doesn't stick or a layer that's smushed so hard it's thin and scraping the bed. Getting that height exactly how you want it is super important and it's much easier now that you can use the firmware to make microscopic adjustments to that Z height. Previously, you used the Z stop switch, the switch that we removed. And the way the Hana knew when it was all the way down was by touching that switch. To make adjustments, you'd have to raise the whole bed or raise or lower that switch, and that's really difficult to do accurately. Now, you can make changes anytime you want, prior or during a print, to adjust that Z height, which we call the Z offset, and then save it for use in further prints, which you can continue using until you see a need to change it. Of course, when you do find a need to change it, it's as simple as going into your firmware and making that adjustment. That feature alone is worth installing an ABL probe in your printer.